Hi, I'm Sam Joyner and I'm here with Fuel Up Fitness and stop whatever you're doing, get up off the couch, it's time to get your workout in, all right? So I'm gonna be your fitness coach for the next 30 minutes. So we're gonna start off with a light warm up, a light jog, all right? So I'm here with my fitness buddies, uh, my workout buddies. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off by um, doing a light march in place. We're gonna start off with the right leg. We're gonna bring it up as well as swing our left arm up and alternate, let's go. Knees all the way up with your march, and you're swinging your opposite arm at the same time. Just some light marching just to get warmed up, get nice and loose, get ready for our all abs workout. There we go, so we're doing this for a couple seconds, about 15 seconds, and then we'll transition to our next warm up exercise, which will have our arms up, shoulder height. Now let's crisscross and kick our heels back. There we go, keeping those arms up about shoulder height. Extend those arms all the way back as we crisscross and kick your heels back. All right, another 15 seconds of this warm up exercise. And then we'll move on right to our next one, which will extend our arms up prisoner style like this. So, elbows all the way out, fingertips behind your ears or behind your head. And now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna cross our knee to the opposite elbow. So, we'll start with the right elbow, we'll cross it to the left knee like so. And other side, there we go, cross. And keeping those elbows all the way out, we're just gonna rotate the body to bring it to the opposite elbow, there you go. Keeping those arms up. All right, so we'll do this for another 15 seconds. There we go. And then we're gonna go right to our jumping jacks. All right, guys, so let's get ready. Arms down, and in three, two, one. Let's knock out these jumping jacks. And if it's difficult to jump it, go right to the modification, which will take a step to the side, and then arms up, bring them together as you go up. And you can see Melissa's here is doing the modified version. So if it's difficult to jump it, if the, um, the impact is an issue, just go right to the modified version, all right? But don't let that stop you from moving, all right? So a good 30 seconds of our jumping jacks, and now let's rest, okay? We'll go right to our rotation, side to side. Just twisting all the way around on each side. Getting nice and loosened up for our abs workout. All right. So the jumping jacks we did for about 30 seconds. And then these rotations for a good 15 seconds. And now we'll go right to our arm circles. All right, so we're gonna do forward circles, arms up about shoulder height. Small circles first. And now we'll begin to make them larger and larger. There we go, increasing our range of motion. All right, and then we're gonna go right to the reverse circles now. Small ones first. And now we're beginning to make them larger. And larger, there we go. All right, and we'll finish off with our last stretch. We'll extend both of our arms behind our backs and lock our fingers. Pull it up and hold it there for a couple seconds. Just hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. And rest, okay, good. All right, so. All abs exercise for today, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start off with our first exercise, which are shin slappers, okay? So we're all gonna come down to our mats. Let's do it, guys. Let's lay in our mats on our backs. All right, and we're gonna start with our legs flat on the ground, arms back over our heads, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna raise our legs and our arms up at the same time, and then we're gonna slap our shins and bring it right back down. But when you bring it down, try to hold it slightly off the ground and raise it right back up. There we go, good. Yeah. Let's do it one more time. And now let's just lay flat on the ground. There we go, good. All right, because now we're gonna do it for 30 seconds, and as much as we can, we're gonna keep our legs off the ground, okay? But for the modified version, Melissa, she's gonna demonstrate that modified version. She's gonna sit on her hands, which is gonna make it easier on her back, okay? So she's not even gonna worry about the arms part. She's gonna do just leg lifts, okay? And as much as she can, she as well is gonna keep her feet off the ground, just like we all will for 30 seconds in three, two, one. Let's do it. Raise them up, slap your shins, and down. There we go, up and down. And as much as you can, we are keeping our feet slightly off the ground. There we go, good. And down, bringing those arms and your legs together, slap your shins. Great job, keep it moving. All right, we're halfway through. Up and down, let's go. Up and down, let's do it. Up 
and down. Just five more seconds. Up and down. Let's get this last one in two, one, and now rest. Okay, so that was the first exercise. Now the next one, which we're gonna do, very similar to what we just did, but now we're gonna alternate, okay? So now with this one, feet slightly off the ground, arms back over our head. We're gonna raise one arm and the opposite leg at the same time. We'll start off with the right arm and the left leg, so let's raise it up, slap your shin, bring it all the way down. Now let's get the other one. Up and down. Up and down. One more. Up and down. Now let's rest, okay. Now, Melissa's gonna demonstrate the modified version where Again, she's gonna sit on her hands, makes it easier on her lower back. And so now she's not gonna worry about the arms part, she's just gonna alternate with her leg lifts, okay? One leg at a time, and as one goes up, the other one goes down, and as much as she can for 30 seconds, she, as well as everyone else, we're all gonna keep our feet off the ground as much as we can doing that exercise, okay? All right, guys, so let's get ready. 30 seconds, so once we get started, let's try to keep those feet off the ground as much as we can. Three, two, one, let's do it. Let's start off with the right arm and the left leg up and down. Now alternate, down, up, and down, up, and down, up, and down. Great job, up, and down, up, and down. There we go, good, halfway through. Up, and down, up, and down, almost there, let's go. Keep it going. Push it, push it, push it, push it, another five more seconds. Even just try to hold it if it becomes difficult to do. Two, one, now let's rest, good. And another way of modifying it, say if it's really difficult to keep those legs all the way up off the ground as much as you can, the other modification will be to, when you bring your legs down, just bring it all the way down to the ground rather than holding it slightly off the ground, okay? But again, do as much as you can. We did 30 second intervals. If it's 30 seconds is too long for you, go right down to 20 seconds or even 15 seconds, don't feel like you have to do what we're doing. Just make sure it's challenging for you, okay? Remember, with challenge comes change. So you always want it to be challenging, but you want it to definitely be doable, all right? So don't overdo it, but make sure it's challenging, all right? And now we're gonna move on to our last exercise, okay? So with this one, now we're gonna turn over. Let's turn over, guys. We're gonna get into our plank position, and now we're gonna grab our dumbbell, all right? So if you have a dumbbell or just some kind of weight at home that you can grab with your hand, a can of soup or uh, you know, some, something that has some weight to it um, that is challenging for you that you can use, maybe like a, a bottle of water, uh, just, just something that has some weight to it and that you can grip with your hand, that would work as well, all right? Or if not, then you can do it without a dumbbell or without any weight and I'll show you what to do with that one, okay? So we're gonna get into our plank position, but we're gonna get into a high plank position on our hands, okay? And then once we're in that position, we're gonna tap our opposite shoulder four times, four shoulder taps, and then we're gonna grab our weight, we're gonna rotate and extend it up on one side, all right? And we're gonna alternate doing that. So we'll go back and do the four shoulder taps and then do the rotation on the other side, all right? So again, we're gonna stick with our 30 second work interval and we're gonna just do it um, as much as we can, trying to keep our knees off the ground as we do our Four shoulder taps while in our plank position. Back straight, hit hips and back nice and flat as we do it. Try not to have your behind up in the air. As much as we can, knees off the ground, doing as much as we can with our shoulder taps and rotation for 30 seconds, all right? So let's get to it. Let's get on our hands and on our knees. And then once we get started, we're gonna lift our knees up and get to it with our four shoulder taps and rotation. We'll start our first shoulder tap with the left and then right, left, right, and then rotation with the right, all right? Three, two, one, let's do it. Knees up, now rotate, like slap your shoulder with the left, right, left, right. Now grab your dumbbell with the right arm and rotate, there we go. Let's go, left, right, left, right. Now we're gonna grab your dumbbell with the left arm and rotate straight up, there you go, good, keep it going. Left, right, there you go, left, right. Now let's rotate on the right side. Great job, good. All right, about 10 more seconds, let's go. There we go. All right, enough time for one more rotation. Let's get this last rotation in. Two, one, and now rest. Good, let's bring it down to the knees. All right. So that is our plank with the four shoulder taps and rotation. If it's difficult to do it using a weight, then when you do your rotation, just extend your arms straight up, all right? So that's another way of modifying it. If it's difficult to hold yourself up on the hand, say if the wrists bother you, then go to your elbows. You can still do shoulder taps, or if that's even difficult, even doing your shoulder taps, 
hold your plank, even a 30 second plank hold, and then you wanna work your way up to adding more stuff to it like what we just did, all right? So those were our exercises. Like I mentioned before, if you need to modify it in any way, add more time to the work interval, you know, maybe regress it less time, you can add more weight to it. There's always ways of modifying it, okay? But you know what? We're gonna go through it one more time. We're gonna start off with the first exercise. We're gonna do two work intervals of each of the exercises. So follow along at home and let's get to it. So we're gonna start off with the shin slappers one more time, all right? So let's lay on our backs. Dumbbell to the side, don't worry about that for right now. So we're gonna do two sets of each of the exercises. So 30 second work intervals. Let's get ready with the shin slappers in three, two, one. Let's do it. Up and down. Up and down. There we go. Up and down. Up and down. Great job. Up and down. Good. Keeping those feet off the ground as much as you can. Legs straight. All right, we have about 10 more seconds now. There we go. Let's do it. Up. And down. As you can see, Melissa's doing the modified version. She's doing great. Still keeping those legs off the ground for another three, two, one, and now rest. All right. Good job. All right. So we're going to do it one more time. All right. Another 30 second interval that we're going to do. Like I mentioned before, do as much as you can. Legs straight as much as you can. Keeping those feet off the ground. Let's get to it in two, one. Let's go. Up and down. Up and down. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Good, halfway through. Up and down, up and down. Good, keeping those feet off the ground. Let's finish off strong, almost there. Three, two, one, and rest. Good. All right, so we're done with the shin slappers. Now we're gonna move on to the alternating shin slappers, okay? So we're gonna do that one. Two sets as well, 30 second intervals both times. All right, let's get to it in three, two, one. I'm gonna start off with the right arm, left leg. Let's get started, let's go. Up and down, on the other side. Up and down, up and down, up and down, good. Up and down, up and down, great job. Keep it going, halfway through. Up and down. Almost there, I know those last couple seconds becomes difficult trying to keep those feet off the ground, but try to push it as much as you can, almost there. Five more seconds, push it, push it, push it. Three, two, one, now rest. Great job, woo. I know those abs feel like they're on fire. We're gonna do it one more time, all right? So one last time, just try to do as much as you can. All right, so lay on your back, legs up in three. We're gonna start on the, with the right arm, left leg in two, one. Let's do it, up and down, up and down, up and down. And you can see Melissa's doing the modified version. So whichever version that you're able to do, just try to do as much as you can. There you go. Great job. Good, and down, up and down. 10 more seconds, let's go. Up and down, finish strong. Up and down, almost there. Five more seconds, push it, push it, push it, push it, push it. Three, two, one and rest, woo. All right, so yeah, those abs should be on fire right about now. That means it's working, all right? Now we're gonna move on to our plank with the four shoulder taps and dumbbell rotation. So let's sit up now, guys. All right, so let's start off on our knees and on our hands. Grab your dumbbell that you're gonna use right under you. All right, so remember four shoulder taps and then we're gonna grab our dumbbell, we'll start off with the rotation to the right. Four shoulder taps and then we'll get the left. We'll do it for 30 second intervals, two times, all right? So as much as we can, we're keeping those knees off the ground. Default becomes difficult to do for the rest of the time. Hold that plank, all right? Most important part, keeping those knees up, hips and back nice and flat. Let's get ready. All right, so once we get started, knees off the ground in three, two, one, let's do it. Knees up. All right, shoulder tap with the left, right, left, Right, now let's rotate with the right and up. There we go, let's do it. Left, right, left, right. Now let's rotate with the left all the way up. There we go, great job, keep it going. Left, right, left, right. Now dumbbell with the right, a rotation with the right. There you go, let's do it. Left, right, good. 
We have enough time to finish this last one. Let's finish this last rotation. There we go. Three, two, one, and rest. All right, good. All right, so we're gonna do it one more time, okay? We did a great job. You at home, let's do it one last time. Let's knock it out, let's finish strong, okay? In three, two, one, knees up, let's do it. Left, right shoulder tap, left, Right, now let's grab that dumbbell, rotate, and raise. And as you can see, Melissa's doing the modified version. Remember, if it becomes difficult to do, don't feel like you have to use a dumbbell. You can just raise that arm straight up. Let's go, rotate with the left, and back down. Let's go, left, right, left, right. Now grab your dumbbell, rotate on the right side. Let's go, now let's finish off this last one. We have time for one last rotation. Good, four shoulder taps. Now grab your dumbbell, rotate on the left side. Two, one, and rest. Woo. All right, great job, guys. Good, way to go. All right. You at home, I hope you really felt the burn, because we did. So again, do as much as you can. As it gets easier to you, then challenge yourself even more, OK? So hopefully, you guys had a good workout. And stay tuned for your post-workout healthy recipe, all right? Have a good one. All right, good job, guys. I want to thank everyone for making this day so special. Dad, you've been my inspiration. I love you. I love you, too. And Mom, I miss you so much. Type 2 diabetes steals the lives we cherish most. But it can be prevented. Almost 80 million Americans have prediabetes. But because prediabetes doesn't always have symptoms, 9 out of 10 people who have it don't even know it. Know your risk. More importantly, do something about it. Eat better, stay active, and lose weight. You have a lot to live for. Stop diabetes for yourself and the people you love. Learn how at checkupamerica.org or talk to your doctor. You have the time to give. You have the capacity to care. You have the experience to contribute. And your country needs you, one of its greatest assets. Americans whose lifetime of knowledge and know-how will make the difference. Take what you learned in the workplace and apply those skills to your community. Shape tomorrow by being a mentor and tutor for children. Make independence a reality for people who need assistance and companionship to continue to make their house their home. Make a difference today. Get involved. I guess sometimes things just happen. Devastating things. Your whole world changes in an instant. That's what happened to me the day my mother had a stroke. I'm Paul George, and I want you to spot a stroke fast. F, face drooping. A, arm weakness. S, speech difficulty. T, time to call 911. Protect the ones you love. Spot a stroke fast. There's a shelter pet who wants to meet you. Meet one today. Visit the shelterpetproject.org. Adopt. I will keep dancing on point, even if it hurts. Ah, my arm is killing me. I don't know if I can pitch another ball. But I'll just play through the pain anyway. I have to do the big stunts. They look better than the other cheerleaders. Our tosses are bigger. <sighs> my elbow really big. But I've got to be better. Don't tell them it hurts. It'll take you out of the game if you do. I have to push harder if I'm going to get a scholarship. I'm feeling dizzy. But I don't want to tell anyone. Everyone's counting on me. I can't rest now. Nearly 50% of all sports injuries sustained by middle and high school students are from overuse. Don't play through the pain. See your health care provider and follow their instructions for rest and recovery. Take the pledge. Become an advocate for sports safety. Visit StopSportsInjuries.org. Uh, Hart, what's going on? I'm leaving. Why? What did I do? Not enough. The pressure is too much. I quit. I get it. I can do better. Just please, don't leave. Don't let your heart quit on you. Get your uncontrolled high blood pressure to a healthy range before it's too late. 
Taking care of a family member can lead to plenty of questions. Fortunately, there's a place to get the answers for them and for you. Find articles, tips, and tools from experts and others who have been in your place. The Caregiving Resource Center at aarp.org slash caregiving. Hi everyone, welcome back to Fuel Up Fitness. I'm Zenya Joyner and today we're making our post-workout meal. We're making a taco supreme salad. So here are the ingredients that we have today. We have a cup of corn, we have half a cup of black beans, and we have half a cup of chopped green bell pepper, as well as a tablespoon of minced garlic. We have one tablespoon of oregano, one tablespoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of cayenne to spice up our taco salad to your liking. We're going to cook this in a tablespoon of olive oil with our one pound lean ground turkey. And we also have a head of romaine lettuce chopped up for the salad portion. So let's get started and let's get cooking. Okay, so we've turned our pan on to medium high heat and we've added our tablespoon of olive oil. Now we're going to add our minced garlic. It's a tablespoon of minced garlic. And once the garlic starts browning, then we'll add our one pound ground lean turkey. Okay, so we've got a pound of ground lean turkey here. I'm just gonna add that to the oil and to the garlic and let that brown up. And it smells delicious. Now once we've added the ground turkey, we're going to add our spices. So we've got our ground cumin here. We've got our oregano. And then we have our cayenne pepper for a little bit of spice. So again, remember all of these herbs and spices will help you with your fat loss goals. It's better for you than having salt and it'll also help with boosting your metabolism. So all of the pepper and the spices, they all have multiple health benefits for you if you're prone to some spices or um, herbs and your body just doesn't agree with it, then you can always omit that ingredient as well. So once we've added all the herbs and spices, we're going to add chopped up green bell pepper here. And then we'll just let that cook for about anywhere between 10 to 12 minutes depending on how high your heat is on the pan. And again, you can go from medium to high heat. Now you can also make this dish with ground lean chicken breast as well, or you can just use chopped up chicken breast or chopped up turkey. You can also use lean ground beef. Again, grass fed is always best. You can also use flank steak for this dish as well. So remember, it's a play on tacos. So we're having a taco supreme salad without the tortillas to make it healthier. We're cutting the carbs and the calories. Just a few more minutes and we will be done. So now at this point, I am going to add our black beans. So there we have the base for our taco salad. And then we will add our corn a little bit later and then top it off onto our romaine salad. Okay, so we just finished cooking our ground meat with all of our different ingredients. So the last thing that we'll do now is add some of the corn to the ground meat mixture. And this will just give it that sweet little bite that you need and we'll mix it all together. And once that's all mixed up, we'll top that off on top of our romaine lettuce. And there you have your taco supreme salad. Very low calorie. This is 
perfect post-workout meal. You just top it off on top of your romaine lettuce. And there you have it. Taco Supreme Salad, perfect post-workout meal. Again, thank you so much for joining us at Fuel Up Fitness. I'm Zenia Joyner, and remember, if it doesn't challenge you, it doesn't change you. We'll see you soon.